Hello everyone, and I have another a massive chess game by the magician from Riga, Mikhail Tal. And in this chess game, his opponent is Vladimir Simaidin, who was also one of the strong chess grandmasters from the Soviet Union. And let's see what happened in this chess game. Mikhail Tal has the white pieces. And Tal starts the game with e4, c6, and this is the Karakan defense, but not d5, d6. And this is the priest defense, knight to c3, knight to f6, f4, queen to b6, knight to f3, bishop to g4, bishop to e2, knight from b to d7, e5 by Mikhail Tal, charging the center, knight in, and Mikhail Tal castled, knight takes on c3, b takes on c3, e6, knight to g5, exchanging the bishops, and simply kicking the knight back. It is white to move. What would you do in this position? Most normal people would probably go back. But not Mikhail Tal. He sacrificed the knight. Knight takes on f7. What a shot by Tal. What a shot. And the sacrifice was accepted. What else? That's a free piece. But now Tal pushed the pawn. And he's planning to open the f file and attacking the king. D takes on e5. Capturing the pawn with check. What else? King takes on e6. So you can see that the king is exposed. And with sacrificing the knight, the king is not looking safe. So pluses and minuses. But materially, Mikhail Tal is not doing well, of course, but black is also not doing well because of his king safety. And now what would you do? Maybe checking the king comes to mind, but Mikhail Tal played another very exciting move. Well, he played Rook to b1. What a move by Tal. He is also sacrificing the Rook. Incredible. This is why we enjoy the chess games of Mikhail Tal. And in this position, Smegin captured the rook. But then we have queen to c4 check. And black has to move the king to a dark square. King to d6 or king to e7. We have king to d6 and bishop to a3. This is check. And this is a discovered attack to the queen. So after moving the king, bang. Rook takes on b1. But let's take it back. In this position, does Smegin didn't even realize that his queen is going to be trapped. Well, actually, computer says queen to a6 is the better move. But I'm sure Smegin saw what was going to happen to his queen. So he captured the rook on purpose because after capturing the rook, Tal checks the king, checking the king again. Capturing the queen, but now Smegin captured the bishop and he actually has three pieces, the rook, the knight and the bishop for the queen. So maybe he thought that he has enough compensation for sacrificing the queen, for leaving the queen. But maybe this is playing with fire when you are playing against Tal. What would you do in this position? There is also another very nice move. Well, Tal played queen to b3, this is a double attack, attacking the bishop and also attacking on b7. After defending the bishop, bang, queen takes on b7. King to d6, capturing the pawn, check, knight takes on e5, check. And checking the king, checking again, checking again and pushing the pawn. Hoping to deflect the king and capturing the knight. Flashing out the king, but king goes back. Checking the king, king goes back, checking again, and what now? This is also about attacking the knight and the bishop. We have king to h7 and leaving one of the pieces. But this is also an interactive moment of this game. If blocking with the bishop, queen check, king to f7, and then queen takes knight, and this is losing for black. The bishop is pinned, still capturing the piece. So in this position, checking the king, king to h7, 
and Mikhail Tull captured the knight. Queen takes on e5. Defending the bishop and lining the rook with the queen. Well, Tull is threatening checkmate. Rook to f7. Bishop goes back for the defense. Queen to f5 check. King goes back. King to f2. Bishop check. King to g3. Rook check. And hiding the king. But now we have rook from a to e8. And in this position, Smegin is actually planning to visit the queen with the rook. Rook from a to e5. And after defending the queen, queen to g6, bishop check, bishop to e7 check. And where is the king going? So you have to capture the bishop, and then rook takes rook, and actually black is fighting back. Black has a fighting chance in this position. So what would you do? You can't capture the bishop because if capturing the bishop, king takes rook. But actually in this position, you can capture the bishop and Mikhail Tal played rook takes on g7. Check. Another incredible move by Tal. King takes on g7 and then capturing the bishop. Before capturing the bishop, capturing a pawn. And in this position, Mikhail Tal is attacking the C and the A pawn. How to, how to defend? Defending like this and then bank with check. Tal has three pawns. King to g6, queen up, and Mikhail tells a pawn is a passed outside, is an outside pass pawn. So Mikhail Tal is pushing his a pawn. King to e5, pushing the pawn. And the a pawn is advancing, and black is doing nothing. King to f3, pushing the pawn, only one move left, but now trying a little trick against Mikhail Tal. So in this position, uh, black is threatening checkmate. Rook takes on h2. Checkmate. How to defend? Well, Tal is defending like this. Checking the king. Blocking with the rook. And if you make a silly move, let's say defending the queen, queen to d4, capturing the pawn checkmate. That would be a disaster for white. What would you do? In fact, Mikhail Tal played the move and black resigned. Tal captured the rook. Queen takes on e3. And black resigned. The possible continuation. King takes on e3. Pushing the pawn. Prophylaxis. Rook takes on c2. And then promoting the queen. And that's all she wrote. White is winning. What a game by Mikhail Tal. He sacrificed his knight. At move 12. Ooh, what a shot by Tal. What an incredible shot. This was incredible by the magician from Riga. And the sacrifice was accepted. And how about rook to b1? What a game. So... After queen takes rook, black resigned. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time with more Mikhail Tal chess games and with some other stuff uh, from the history of chess. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.